Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to learn about negative exponents and how to write and evaluate expressions using negative exponents. Well, a negative exponent is the result of repeated division. So we can look at a pattern of 10 to the third power. Well, 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10, which is simply 1,000. 10 to the second power is only 10 times 10, which is 100. Our result is we lost a zero. 10 to the first power is just 10, so 10. 10 to the zero power well, that's just 1. Now, when we go to 10 to the negative 1, this is actually going to be 1 over 10, so 1 tenth. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10 times 10, which is 1 over 100. And lastly, 10 to the negative third is 1 over 10 times 10 times 10, which results in 1 over 1,000. One common misconception with negative exponents is that it turns our numbers negative. Now, no, in fact, it just puts it over the number 1. So our general rule any time you have a negative exponent, so if you have, say, a to the negative n, we can write that as a positive exponent by going 1 over a to the positive n. Or in other words, this 1 over 10 was really 1 over 10 to the first. This was 1 over 10 squared. And 10 to the negative 3 was 1 over 10 to the third. Now we're going to take that information and apply it to some examples. In our first set of examples, we want to write each expression using a positive exponent. So for 3 to the negative fourth, all we need to do to write this as a positive exponent using our rule, write it as 1 over 3 to the fourth power. And that's it. We don't need to simplify if we're simply writing it to a positive exponent. So our m to the negative 2 is simply 1 over m to the second power. And that's it for those. Our directions for the next set say to write each fraction as an expression using a negative exponent other than 1. Because in a, we certainly could write this as 49 to the negative 1, but that's not the goal here. Our goal is to look and go, okay, what do I know about exponents and the number 49? Well, 1 over 49 is the same thing as 1 over 7 squared, since 7 squared is 49. You can then take that and say, well, if I want to write this as a negative exponent, I can simply write this as 7 to the negative 2. What about 1 eighth? Now, nothing squared equals 8. But the cube root of 8 equals 2. So I can say this is 1 over 2 to the third power. And 1 over 2 to the third power as a negative exponent is 2 to the negative third. And what if I'm already given the exponent, 1 over 8 to the 4th power? Well, that's even easier. You can just write this as 8 to the negative 4th. But when we look at the ones that do not have the exponent on the bottom, with the 8, ask yourself, well, nothing squared was 8. What about to the 3rd power? And with 1 over 49, well, think about it. The square root of 49 is 7, 
So 7 squared must be 49. That's the way you need to look at those. Now we can look at an example using a very small number and how to write that decimal there as a fraction and a power of 10. But let's rewrite this first and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros, then a 1 to the right. So as we write this out, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros to the right, then the 1. And this is a bit of an extreme example, but one that is fun nonetheless. Let's see what place value this 1 is in. Well, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, ten millionths, hundred millionths, billionths, and ten billionths. Well, that then is one over. 10 billion with a B. When I go to write this with an exponent, this is 1 over 10 to the 10th power. And to write this as a negative exponent, then this is simply 10 to the negative 10. As we look at an example to substitute, we need to evaluate 16 times r to the negative third power if r equals negative 4. Now, r is going to equal negative 4. The negative 4 is going to go in for r. So as we rewrite this, this is 16 times negative 4 to the negative third power. Now, negative 4 to the negative third power is going to mean, we'll keep the 16, times 1 over negative 4 to the third. This negative exponent has no impact on this negative number. It simply means we're going to rewrite this over 1. Now, let's look at what negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is. This negative 4 times negative 4, negative times negative is a positive 16 times 4, excuse me, negative 4, and then 16 times negative 4 is a negative number, which is a negative 64. So this becomes 16 times 1 over a negative 64. I can rewrite this 16 over 1 times 1 over negative 64. Now, this negative can go up top, it can go to the side. For now, we'll just keep it with a negative 64 as we continue to solve. Multiply straight across, unless you wanted to cross simplify. And actually, by cross simplifying, if you divide just, say, by 4, 16 divided by 4 is. 4. Negative 64 divided by 4 is negative 16. And then you can continue. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4. And you're about as simplified as you can get. Now we can do the 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So my answer, negative one-fourth. So as re you review what we did here, we made our substitution in negative four in for r. We rewrote the negative four to the negative third power as one over negative four to the third. We figured out that negative four to the third was a negative 64. And then we used fraction multiplication to simplify this down to negative one-fourth. Now, could you have done 16 over negative 64 to simplify it to get negative 1 fourth? Sure. But any way you can, you need it to get to negative 1 fourth. Good luck.